What is up guys, Casey here, and today we're going to be working on our messaging app, creating the function so when you add, uh, tap the plus button, it can create messages with new users. If you guys haven't seen the app on the app store yet, search up The Messenger, and I'll leave a link in the description below. But the final product of this app is published on the app store, I just got it approved, and you guys can go have fun with it. Send me a message. Uh, I think my user is the Casey's. Um, but you guys will be able to see it, mess around with it, show your friends. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, in this video, I'm shooting for 10 likes. So if you guys can get 10 likes on this video, it will be much appreciated. So let's jump right on into the video. To get started on the main storyboard, we need to add a view controller. Okay. So when a user actually, oh, let's move this one a little more. Right. When a user actually taps on the add button, it goes up here. So right click on the plus button and drag to the new view controller and click show. So now anytime someone presses that button, it's just gonna automatically show the new view controller, okay? Uh, this view controller is of course gonna have a header. So we can copy this header on our message, message BC, copy that one, and uh, just paste it over here. And then we can just pin this. Oh, not gonna move. It's gonna move. We can pin it uh, zero from the top three edges. Add those constraints. It's in there perfectly. Uh, change messenger to search. Okay. We need a search field. Or search bar, I guess it's called. Click and drag that one up. Pin that one. Zero, zero, zero. And the placeholder is going to say search friends. There we go. And then now we need a UI table view. Drag that on here. Now we got to throw on a UI table view cell. And this cell is gonna have a UI image. And we'll give that a height and width of 45, that's fine. You guys can do whatever sizes you want. And then add that. We're gonna align it vertically in the container. And then we'll give it 15 from the left. That's fine. Right there, and then we need a UI label. We're just gonna throw in a name. Oh, there we go. This is going to be uh, pinned 10 from the image and 15 from the side. That's fine. And then align that label vertically in the container. We should be good there. Uh, you can change this font color to whatever color. I'm using the turquoise color. Uh, font size. I'd up that up. And then add a, um, where is it, minimum font? Yeah, on auto shrink, say minimum font size. Because someone's going to be out there trying to create a really long name. And you can also tighten the uh, spacing. That is good. And then, of course, a line. That's fine. Everything here looks good to me. If you want, you can change this to a medium, bold color. And after that, you can just eliminate the text. Uh, maybe, maybe add a placeholder, just to make sure you like it. 
that's good. And then other than that, um, on the cell type, you can add an accessory. I think I added a disclose disclosure indicator. So it looks like you're going to message the person when you tap on it. And now, do we have the VC? Okay, we got to create a new VC, so new file. Cocoa Touch class, next. It's going to be type UI view controller. And we're going to name this search VC. Next. Create. So now that we have the search of VC, go to the main.storyboard and um, you're going to want to link this view controller up to that VC. So click on the cla uh, custom class option and type in search VC. Click enter. Now it is there. Um, we're going to want to create, oh, where is it? Search VC, last one. We can delete the boilerplate code. No need for that. We're going to have a couple labels here. So at IB outlet. Oh, not labels. Um, IB outlet, and we're going to have a search bar. Type UI search bar. Oh, we, <laughs> we, I forgot. Weak var. How many times have I done this? Sheesh. UI search bar. And then at IB outlet week var UI oh, table view. And that's gonna be a type UI table view. And I think that's the only IB outlets we need. And then let's just create our back function or IB action. Sender is going to be any object, and we're just going to dismiss true completion. No. Save that. Um, we can import all of the files we need. Actually, they're called modules, I believe. Um, sometimes I just forget names for things because who needs to know that stuff? Just kidding. You should know it. I should know it. Uh, Swift Keychain Wrapper. Okay, save that. Uh, head back to the main storyboard so we can link this stuff up. If you right click on the search VC, you will see the search bar. Click and drag to the search bar. You'll see the table view. Click and drag to the table view. And we are good there. Now at the bottom it says go back. Click and drag that to the back function and say touch up inside. Okay, okay. Okay, so view, new view, or new file. Uh, Swift, well, cook with this class. UI table view cell. And we're going to call this search cell. And it's going to have two IB outlets. One's for our image. And then the other is going to be for our label. Awesome. Now we're going to want to import a couple things. So we want to import uh, Firebase. Now we want to import Firebase database. And we want to import Firebase storage. And this is going to annoy me. Let's go right there. Uh, we want to also import Swift Keychain Wrapper. Okay. Um, now uh, we got to create a variable. So we're going to have to create another class 
uh, for our database part, but that's okay. Um, we'll just do this right now, var search detail of type search, which we haven't created. Okay, and then underneath the set selected, you don't need that function, but if you want, you can keep it. We're just going to say func config cell. Okay, so this up, and we're going to take in a uh, value search detail. That's going to be type search. Awesome. And then we're going to say self dot search detail equals search detail. And then we're going to say um, all right. Well, we can't really go much further because we need the search database. So I guess we can create that in our model folder. Click right click new file, just do a Swift file. Next, create. And in this one, we're going, to, oh, whoops. Well, double click here and you can just change this to search. Okay. Uh, uh, go to a different, um, let's go to the message.swift and just copy everything. I know you shouldn't copy and paste code, but in this instance, we're going to. And then just paste that in here, okay? And the class, we're gonna change that to search. Okay. Um, instead of message, it's gonna be username. Instead of sender, we're gonna change that to user image. And instead of message key, it's gonna be user key. And instead of message ref, it's gonna be user ref. Current user is the same, and then you can select username or uh, copy it, I guess. And where it says message, just paste that there. Paste it there. Uh, same with user image. User image. Um, oh, whoops. User image. And then user key goes here on message key. We're just changing the variable names because it's a new uh, database structure, class structure. Command copy, uh, copying the username and changing that in the initializer. Okay, and then you can scroll down here, uh, paste that in there as well, wherever it says message, pretty much. I even believe uh, right here, we're going to say username, and then this is going to be user key, user key, or, or what you could do is command F, right, and we can say replace, and wherever it says, um, what is it, message key? we're gonna replace it with user key, right? Replace all. And then you can do that for wherever it says um, sender, replace that with user image. And then just click all. And then just change all of them. And then wherever it says And then this last one we can just change that to user ref. We don't have to do anything else. Okay. And then click done. That should all work. Command save. Um yeah, that was pretty quick. Now we can head back to our search cell dot swift. And in here, now we can say down yonder, we can say name label dot text equals search detail 
dot uh, username. Oh, name. Okay. And then we're gonna say let reference ref equal fir storage dot storage dot reference dot uh, actually reference for URL and the URL is gonna be search detail dot user image. Okay, and then we're gonna say ref dot data with max size and you can make this whatever the max size for the file you want to upload uh, I honestly don't care and then completion we're gonna have data comma error make sure it's not a capital E and then we're just gonna say in and you can say if error is not equal to nil. So if we have an error, um, it's going to print an error. Uh, print. We couldn't upload the image. Um, else. So that means there wasn't an error. Um, we're just going to say if let image data equal data, right? Um, we're just going to say if let image equals UI image. Oh, data, okay. And then we're going to put data or image data, sorry in there and then we can just say self dot user image self dot oh self dot image whoops I thought I named it user image self dot image dot image is going to equal img image Okay, I think everything here is good. Double space. Just cleaning up the code there. Head back over to main.storyboard and click on the table view cell. Over here you can see on the, on the left side of the screen. And make sure you're clicked on there and go to the custom class and we're gonna send, change it to search cell. Now if you right click on that, you can link up the image and the name label and we are good here so in the next video we're going to finish this and then our app will be working it's going to be awesome if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel if the next video is out it'll be right here and if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up and also i do live streams on saturdays this saturday if you're watching in the future, I'll have a stream, but this current Saturday, I'm going to be going on vacation, so I won't be doing a live. I'll be releasing a video instead, and if you ever want to watch my lives, please turn on the notifications so you get notified when I'm live. Uh, you can come ask me questions, you know, just chill, see how I code normally, not on these videos, and uh, yeah, sweet guys. See ya.